43. All right, welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. We're joined now by Mark Argenbright with the Great Overland Station. Hi. Good how morning. You, how are you doing, Dane? Very good. It's oh, good to see you again. Of course. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. and We just can't stop talking about geek stuff, right. honestly. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, we've been doing it for a minute. Yes. So this is... Uh, Probably what seven, eight years now that we've been doing geek stuff it's here. Has and it been like that? It yeah. has been like that, and we're much, Time flies. much different positions now than when we started. Yes, you know? and I think yeah. that's exciting stuff because yeah. now you've, you're putting together the Great Overland um, Comic Convention. Yeah, and it's going to be a great big party this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm so excited for this. Um, yeah, tell us all about it. Tell us sure, what can people absolutely. expect when they go. Well, one of the neat things that we're really focusing on are people who are content creators, intellectual property creators, here from our area, so mm, Topeka, mm -hmm. Kansas City. So like we've got Topeka educators that are making comic books. We've got Topeka educators who are writing for Star Trek uh, mm -hmm. and, and have a, a deep history with that. Uh, we've got people from our area that uh, just got done competing at the global level in cosplay. We've got people who uh, are working for Robot Chicken uh, on wow. Adult Swim out of Kansas City. They're all going to be here, and we're all going to be talking about uh, their geek jobs and, and professional pop culture references and all the neat things they, they get to do. And, and then we've surrounded them with a number of extra parties and activities. Like, there's these seven-foot-tall Rock'em Sock'em robots that we're going to be using mm -hmm. that anyone can just come and play. We've got cosplayers from Star Trek, Star Wars... Uh, zombie hunters, we've got Ghostbusters that are going to be out there. I've got 12, 13 different vehicles that are all costumed out, and so uh, it's it's going to be a neat weekend out at Great Overland State. Sounds like it's going to be a blast, and then on top of all that, I believe there's a comic book vendors and yeah. toy collectors as well. Uh, yeah, we've got Get a number. Nostalgia on. We've got a number of great vendors that are coming in from like two to three different states coming into the area, uh, you'll be able to take a look at uh, a bunch of geek boutique type stuff, a bunch of handmade stuff. You'll be able to uh, shop for comic books, toys. You know, I don't know if I have anyone selling pop Funko type stuff, hmm. video games. Uh, and so there'll be, oh, we've got a squash mallow. Uh, vendor that just just has squishmallows, squashmallows, oh, okay. whatever those compact <laughs> things are. Uh, the, they've got a great selection. And, and then we've got a little uh, Spawn Inn is coming in with a Geek Tavern, and they've got a couple of unique uh, cocktail, not mocktails. So there's mm -hmm. no alcohol. This. Uh, that they're going to be serving. Are they while, making some shakes for I, us? I don't know oh. quite how fancy Jeremy's going to get over there. So, yeah. It sounds absolutely fantastic. And we were talking earlier, it's not just like the Great Overland Station. There's various places right. in Noto that are participating in this event. Well, not just Noto. Like, on Saturday morning, the library mm -hmm. is doing yeah. activities for kids. We've got uh, things going on in Noto throughout the day. Board games over at Odin's Lair. Studio 62 is doing art activities, and then they're doing Nerdlesque in, at, at night uh there's going to be a drink and draw the the norseman i mean this is a bigger party uh that expands past the parks and rec walls which is really nice that we're getting to partner with so many great places throughout town mm -hmm. uh, and uh, i'm really excited about uh, the the future of uh, what this this party could be. I'm certainly excited too, because as a, this is the first year you're putting this together. Yeah. Like, what what motivated you to actually get this ball rolling? Uh, well, I, I was hired in a job to to <laughs> do something good. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, we've been I've been doing comic conventions across the country for over ten years. Um, I have a great relationship with Planet Comic Con. I've done uh, more cons in Kansas. Uh, I've participated in than. Uh, I haven't, you know. There are very few that I haven't touched or helped with cosplay mm -hmm. or done this, that, or the other. So I was in a very good position. I had a lot of great relationships, and now I just get to start utilizing those relationships and, and making some neat parties. And, you know, coincide this with uh, Station 9 and 3 quarters, the event we'll have next fall, and uh, a couple other really special parties that are wanting me to build in the future. It's, it's a really neat position to be in to create a, a very diverse um, uh, a, a very diverse and, and fun enjoyment recreational 
uh, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. oh, this, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. And, you know, bare bones now, when and where? Okay, so <laughs> at Great Overland Station, mm -hmm. our doors open at 10 a.m. If you're hungry, there's going to be a food vendor with biscuits and gravy right Ooh, outside the door. Okay. Um, there uh, will be open till 6 o'clock on Saturday. We're only staying open till 4 on Sunday. Okay. Uh, so you'll be able to shop inside with all of our vendors and, and get all the very cool geeky things that they have to offer that you normally can't really mm -hmm. find in Topeka. Um, then in the evenings, head over to Noto, and uh, that's that's Enjoy kind the of the, the brass tax of it all. And I believe tickets are only $5? $5. We've kept this at a that. ridiculously low price so anyone can get in. It sounds like it's going to be a great week.